Hi there, Brett Bielen from Solarola. There's many different ways you can implement one of our trailers. You can have it as a full-on backup system or a full power source. You can have it partially um, supporting maybe just important loads like your fridge and your freezer so when we're going through these outages we have those essentials taken care of. One thing I love about this thing is for say people building a new house or coming onto some land where there hasn't been any development yet you know the first thing you need is power right to run your tools and that and of course there's the option to run generator and be uh, you know going to get gasoline all the time. This is so wonderful it's quiet you can really get into the build and run table saws, chop saws at the same time. I mean, weld, whatever you need to off this. And run, you know, keep your tools, uh, batteries charged, whatnot. So we're using a, a Schneider system where the battery, the charge controller, the inverter, it's all on a network. And that network is projected to our phones or our computers anywhere in the world. We're gonna look at some of the components here in our solar trailer. Backup power station. This big cube here is the lithium iron phosphate discover battery. So this battery was made especially by um, Discover um, to integrate with the Schneider system. Over there on the left is the inverter. So it's a 4,000 watt inverter, 220 out, split phase. Over on this side we have a maximum power point charging uh, charge controller which is going to make sure to, that we really hone in on that sweet spot on the solar panels. This top layer will slide over the bottom layer. Okay, so that gives us 1,860 watts. So this is a good size system for um, the battery backup. It'll put about 50 miles in your in your EV each day. Should you want to use your trailer for that? So it'd be a standalone. Basically, your your uh, your charger would come right off of there. And in fact, if it was that kind of a situation, I may mount the charger for you in a nice, neat spot. So it becomes kind of a pull it in, set it down. You could pull it with your EV where you need to go and charge as well. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.